Advance Italian Yachts is a newcomer in the sailing boat market. At this year's Genoa Boat Show, it presented its first boat, the Advance 66, a product above all of the passion for yachting of its founders, the DeLeo family. The design of the water lines is by Reichel and Pew, perhaps more famous for bigger boats, while the deck layout and the interiors are by the Milanese studio Norta, another big name in yachting. The cockpit of the Advance 66 is carefully designed down to the tiniest detail. The after part, or rather the amidships section of it, is dedicated to the running rigging. As you can see, the helms are placed rather forward of the transom. So this space, apart from being a sunbed, has some small touches of genius. Here there's a clever opening system which becomes a ladder and makes it easy to reach the stern platform, which is easy to use both at anchor and in ports where the keys are very low. The dimensions of the platform are very good. It's easy to get into the water, so swimming when at anchor is really very comfortable. Then there's another very intelligent detail on the boat. There are two lockers to the sides of the ladder for masks, flippers and anything else you might need when swimming. Walking forward, you reach the guest's cockpit. As you can see, there's a lot of space between the two helms, so it's easy to pass. You pass the area dedicated to manoeuvres, where there are two winches, the primary and secondary one. You can also see that the main track is set in the flooring, so it doesn't constitute an obstacle. Now we're in the guest cockpit. It has two benches that can seat up to eight people, they're well protected, and there's a table in the center. It's divided into two sections that can be adjusted in height and the leaves can be opened or closed as required. Moving forward is very easy. There are no obstacles in the gangways and they're very wide. You can hold on to the rails and also step on the deck house. Here we arrive at the mast. The foot of the mast is very well organized. The rigging is covered as it leaves the organizer at the foot of the mast. The deck house, semi-raised, fits in well with the deck plan and there are details that show how well this boat has been designed. There's a large window in the center that gives a lot of light to the interior. Then there are two portholes opening forward and one opening towards the stern to guarantee good ventilation for the dinette underneath. The bow, too, is well organized. There's a fixed attachment for the staysail, which can be on a roller just astern of the anchor locker. Then there's a jib roller set into the deck right at the bow and the bowsprit housing that makes it possible to set a code zero forward of the jib. When you go below on the Advance 66, you appreciate the way the companionway has been designed. It has five steps, and this makes it possible to give it a gentle slope and makes it easy to negotiate even in rough conditions in total safety. Mm. 
We're now in the dinette of the Advance 66. There really is plenty of space, and it's been well designed for socializing. To starboard of the companionway is a large sofa that's so big it can also serve as a berth. It measures 2.1 by 1.2 meters. To port of the companionway is the dining table. It's well-sized and can seat eight people comfortably, and can also be raised because inside there is storage space for charts. The chart table is to starboard of the companionway. It has a good sized surface for reading charts and plenty of room for instrumentation. From here you can also adjust a computer monitor that comes out of the chart table. The galley is in the forward part of the saloon. It has a U-shaped layout and large working surfaces. It's complete with appliances and has two very spacious top-loading fridges. The master cabin is in the forward part of this model of the Advance 66. It's very roomy and well lit by windows in the deck and on the sides. Above all, it has plenty of room for moving around that makes it easy to access the well-sized berth. The double berth is two meters long and a meter and a half wide. The master head opens directly off the cabin. It's well sized with headroom of 1.9 meters. Inside is everything you need, including a separate shower cabin that's large and easy to use. On the starboard side, in front of the galley and before the entrance to the master cabin, this model has a fourth cabin with tower berths. It is rather small, but the berths are very well sized, 2 meters long and 70 centimeters wide. The twin guest cabins are at the stern. They are roomy and have double berths of an excellent size, 2 meters long and 1.53 meters wide. They also have large cupboards for stowing luggage. Each guest cabin has its own head. They're well sized and contain everything you need. The guest head, like the master head, has a separate, easy to use shower cabin. We're sailing the Advance 66 on a typical Mediterranean day. There are about five knots of wind and the sea is calm. The first sensation you have at the helm is that she's fast and fun. Despite the lack of wind and the displacement of 24 tons, she is responsive. She started moving as soon as we hoisted the sails. From my position here I can see all of the boat, the foresails, the view is very good. She reacts very well to the helm. The deck layout has been optimized for short-handed sailing. From here, if I want to, I can use both the winches, the primary and the secondary one, to trim the sails. In these conditions, we can sail close hauled at around 25 to 30 degrees to the apparent wind. And once the boat starts moving, she creates a good apparent wind. So with five knots of true wind, we can make about four and a half knots, sometimes reaching five. 
i cinque nodi di velocità. Adesso facciamo Now let's go about. una virata. Pronte virare. Ready about. Viro. Tacking. Come potete notare, As you can see, with just a little helm, the boat comes quickly up to wind, thanks also to a well-designed sail plan. The jib has little overlap. Now we're head to wind, we're going about. It's easy to pass from one helm to another because there are no obstacles. Now we're close hauled again. We can point up to about 25 degrees from the apparent wind. She's very responsive to the helm. And this means I can bear away a few degrees to pick up speed and then point higher. I can do this constantly without slowing the boat down, and she picks up speed again quickly when I come hard on the wind. In conclusion, I can say that the Advance 66 is a very well-designed boat. You can see she's designed by keen sailors with a lot of experience. There's a lot of attention to detail, for safety at sea, but also for performance. The big names behind this design offer a guarantee, and this test on the water has shown it. The water lines are very high performance, and comfort above and below decks is at the top of the range. She's a boat dedicated to an expert owner who knows what he wants. The shipyard has a team of experts to satisfy the demands that come from years of sailing and implement them as well as possible. She's certainly to be recommended for those who want to enjoy medium-range cruising, but also long cruises in the maximum comfort and safety.